So here we have a statics problem. And what that means is, um, in this situation, we've got a number of forces. We've got this 40 Newton force hanging downwards here. So presumably this is some kind of weight hanging. And then we've got a couple of cables here, for example, um, that are holding it in place, okay? And we're assuming these cables are very light. Uh, and what we've got to work out is these forces F1 and F2. Now, what we're saying, but the reason we're calling this a statics problem is we're assuming that um, the whole system is in equilibrium. Nothing is moving here. It's just hanging stationary from these supports. So what that means is, um, for something to be in equilibrium like this, the resultant force on the system, the, the total resultant force of the system must be zero. Okay, so there's zero resultant force here. So that's the principle we're working from. So we're going to try and work out F1 and F2. So let's do that. So the first thing we can do here is because we know that these things are in um, equilibrium, these forces are in equilibrium, and we know the resultant force is zero, when we line these forces up in a vector triangle, they should form a closed triangle, which proves then that there's no resultant force. So we can assume that they're going to line up as a vector triangle with no resultant force. And the way we do that then is to, to make a vector triangle, we take each vector in turn and we line them up head to tail. So that's the head of the vector, that's the tail of the vector. So this one here will be F2. Okay, this one here will be the 40 Newtons. And then this one here is the, uh, maybe I should put the arrow there. This one here is F1. And we know that F1 is at 45 degrees to the horizontal. And we know that F2 is horizontal, despite the fact that I've drawn it slightly wonky. And also we clearly can tell that this angle here is 90 degrees. So now we've got a vector triangle, each vector lined up head to tail head to tail, and you can see that they form a closed triangle, which means there is zero resultant force, which is exactly what we'd expect, because as we said, this is a static problem. So now we're going to try and work out F1 and F2, and the way that we can do this is we're just going to use trigonometry. So if we look at this triangle here, you'll remember from your GCSE trigonometry studies, this is the hypotenuse of this right angle triangle. This is the adjacent to the 45 degree angle, and this is opposite to the 45 degree angle. Okay, so we've got hypotenuse, adjacent, opposite. So for example, if we want to work at F2, so if we want to work at F2, we know that it is the adjacent, and we know that this is the opposite. So we're gonna to need to use tan to work that out. If we want to work out F1, we're gonna use the known value that we've got here, 40 Newtons, that's opposite. And we're going to try and work out this value here on the hypotenuse. So opposite and hypotenuse, we're going to need to use sine. So let's do F1 first. So F1 is going to be, um, the way we're going to do this one to work out F1 is that we know that sine of 45 is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. Okay, so we can rewrite that. Sine of 45 is equal to, well, we know the opposite is 40 and we know that the hypotenuse is F1. So if you rearrange that, you're gonna get F1 equals 40 over sine 45. And then if you stick that into your calculator, you'll find that that gives you 56.6 .6 Newtons, and then we can round that to 57 Newtons. So there is uh, to two significant figures, like these values are here. So to work at F2 then, so we've now got F1. F2, we know it's opposite and adjacent, so we know that tan of 45 is equal to opposite over adjacent. Tan of 45 must be equal to 40 over F2. So F, oops, F2 is equal to 40 over tan 45. And if you work that one out, you're going to get 40. Newtons. Okay, so that's the solution. Now there is another way of doing it, uh, and the other way of doing it is to um, is to resolve these vectors, uh, these this this vector here into horizontal and vertical components. So I'll show that on another 
video.